family and their attorney have revealed their identity. The man who was shot and killed by Fort Knox police this weekend. He's 41 year old William Atkins. The violence at Fort Knox is our top story tonight at 6. Hello everyone, I'm Doug Prophet. The attorney says mental health is at the core of this shooting. WHS 11's Isaiah Kim Martinez has more insight into the deadly incident. Attorney Larry Wilder wasted no time to say his client, Billy Atkins, had known deep struggles with mental health, difficulties he believes should have dictated how a Fort Knox police standoff played out. There are many questions to be answered after a man from Salem, Indiana, was shot and killed by police at the Fort Knox Army Complex 50 minutes southwest of Louisville. According to family, the man killed early Sunday morning was Billy Atkins. His attorney, Larry Wilder in Clark County, believes there's a simple explanation what went wrong. What they wanted us to, to do is make it clear some of the issues that Billy was facing. Uh, with his mental health. Late Saturday night, police say officers responded to the complex's visitor center on reports Atkins had trespassed through a gate. When police arrived, they say Atkins tried to escape in his car. It led to a vehicle pursuit, and shortly after, police stopped him. Police tell us a 90-minute standoff ensued to defuse the situation. That's when Fort Knox officials say Atkins tried to, quote, ram and run them over. In that moment, their report says officers shot him. Determination of whether or not um, the facts, as everyone knew them, indicated that that fear actually makes sense. Fast forward more than a day later, and Atkins' attorneys believe shots should have never been fired because of Atkins' history battling mental health difficulties. We belong to a system that when you have individuals like Billy Atkins, it is nearly impossible to figure out what to do to help this person. In Wilder's words, it's evidenced by still pending charges of armed robbery, car theft, and kidnapping in Clark County in late 2020. One where an arrest report cites Atkins telling an officer, quote, Jesus was with me in the car. That his travels were, um, at the direction of God. That same year, a judge ruled Atkins released on bond in order to get two psychiatric evaluations on his condition. A Clark County administrator tells WHAS 11 that was the responsibility of the Atkins party. And according to recent records, those evaluations were never filed, leaving a concrete diagnosis and exact reasons why Atkins was in Fort Knox to begin with still under investigation and his attorneys wanting more info. And Wilder says Fort Campbell is in charge of the autopsy. As for the Atkins family, I'm told they want more details before they set any funeral arrangements. In Clark County, Isaiah Kim Martinez, WHAS 11 on your side.